Hello, my name is Adam Winrich, and this video is about a whip I got from Germany called the Carbachi. I'm probably really mispronouncing that, but uh, that's how I think it's pronounced, the Carbachi. These whips come from Germany in the Lake Constance area of southern Germany on the border with Austria and Switzerland. Uh, these whips are made from basically twisted and braided rope. It's either uh, linen or hemp. I think it might be linen rope. And it's kind of like a bull whip. Uh, these are about 11 and a half feet long. And you can see it's got a short handle. The uh, whip actually is braided, I think, from the point. And then they make a little loop there on the end of the whip part. And there's a little loop on the end of the handle. And they join it together with either leather lace or a little leather strap. And another interesting thing about these whips is that the cracker is not a little twisted piece of string. What it is is some uh, nylon ribbon. And these whips are pretty much used during street festivals in the winter time, either in uh, January or on Sundays during uh, Lent, uh, the 40-day uh, period right before Easter. So I'm going to show you uh, how they crack the carbachi, and then I'll show you some other cracks that I can do with one of them. First, we'll lay the second one down. The basic way they crack the carbachi is doing an overhead crack and a reverse overhead crack. Now the uh, advantage of doing that crack in a street festival is that you're cracking your whip over cobblestones or concrete or asphalt and you can see the whip stays all the way up off the ground so that means you're not going to wear your whip out as fast. Now for me when I pick up a uh, whip like this that behaves like a bull whip, most of the cracks that I would do with one like this are the flicks. So a whip like this is very good for the uh, overhand flick, like that, throwing it out. I also do the sidearm flick. Can kind of do a uh, continuous sidearm flick. I do an underhand flick. So we can do a snake killer. Then I'm doing the cattleman's crack. And uh, here I'll attempt two cracks. That probably won't work, but uh, I'm sure someone will want to know if they can do it. We'll try a Tasmanian cutback. Almost worked. And let's see, we'll try a four corners. That's why the handles are longer on stock whips when you do the four corners. That was awkward. And here's a little combo of different cracks with the carbachi. Tell you what, these are a heck of a workout, and they make my regular Australian stock whips seem like kids' toys. Now we'll try to crack two carbachi, or I should say carbachin. I'll end with an end right there. All right, so two carbachi. The easiest thing is to do alternating overhead cracks. That was pretty easy. Uh, it also looks good to uh, do that routine, do the Queensland crossover with one whip, and then go back into that routine. We'll do. Whew. And uh, one, other, one other crack I'll show you. I've seen them do this one in Hungary where they'll do alternating overhand flicks. And here's what that looks like from the front. And here it is from the side. And all 
will attempt to do the Queensland crosser with both these guys. Very graceful. Whew. Well, that's me trying to crack the German Carbacci. My name is Adam Winrich. Thanks for watching.